welcome 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 once again everyone to my live webcast here from eagle fly media studio getting ready for a shoot tomorrow so i discovered this this um article seven things no one will tell you about being a business owner this article by Anna Gother shares some important aspects of being a small business owner that often go unnoticed. So let's dive in. First of all, business owners will have to do everything. And this is what we, this is our dilemma. We have to do everything. We're managing invoices, expenses, overseeing customer services, legal matters. All these responsibilities can be overwhelming, but don't worry. I'm going to share some strategies. Next, we'll discuss how difficult it can be to take time off. Tell me about it. When we're fully involved in our, in our business, even short breaks can disturb our workflow, right? Give me a comment if you think the same. Uh, let's say, let's talk about decision fatigue. That's one of the, one of the things that they mentioned in this article. Decision fatigue. That's a real problem for small, small business owners. The constant need to make decisions, whether it's about pricing, software scaling, that can be mentally exhausting. We discuss how to avoid burnout. A man, burnout, stress, when you know, you, when you think you don't have the time if you're not organized, if you don't have a schedule, that's the real uh, burnout because you still want to have life outside your, uh, your business, right? So not everything is about your business. Now, staying competitive. It's crucial for an ever-changing business landscape. We'll discuss the importance of continuous learning. So I'm going to give you a little example about continuously learning. Every time there's a new effect, this is me in my industry. Every time there's a new effect, a new uh, transition, a new camera movement that I want to know, I learned. I go online, I learn it, I master it, and I practice it. So the importance of staying competitive. We got to know what's out there. And the technology changes every three months. It used to be like every six, nine months. Now it's like every three months there's something new. But you can't go crazy and get bit by the bug that you have to have the latest. You don't have to have the latest. You just have to know what to use, what you already have, with the latest ideas and the latest technology. How about insurance? Insurance is over, often overlooked. I'll give you an example. I have insurance for my drone after I, after I had a hiccup. Uh, about a, two years I'll say I had a hiccup with my drone I didn't have insurance I did some silly uh, flight fly and uh, the, the thing came down crashing and I didn't have insurance and it was an expensive piece of equipment so in the article insurance is over is always or often overlooked but it's viral viral to protect your businesses from potential legal threats. We will highlight the different insurance options available on how and how they can protect your business. All right, the next one is big. The next one is anxiety. That's a common challenge for entrepreneurs. <laughs> the fear of uncertainty and financial pressure. We will share some strategies on managing anxiety and maintaining mental wellness throughout your business journey. All right, how about the next one? Job security. It's an ambiguous for small business owners. While you have more control over your destiny, there are, there's also a higher level of risk. We'll discuss how diversifying your customer base can provide you with more stability in times of uncertainty. Thanks, Miguel, for waving. Thanks, David, for waving. So this 
topics and strategies that we can share with you will be in our next episodes in our next podcast live I want to do a series of topics based on this article and touch in detail uh, strategies ideas and other uh, aspects on how how you can control it so in conclusion for this episode owning a small business is not a faint of heart uh, whoever owns a business and small business and has been in business for a while knows knows that this is so true this is not a faint of heart but it can be incredible reward incredibly rewarding we will conclude by emphasizing the ability of resources Nowadays, we have so many tools and options for professionals to support the growth of your business. That's why here at EFM, which is Eagle Fly Media, the all-in-one program that we offered is what is, is designed to support small business owners, small business owners. The quality content help you grow and achieve the goals that you, as a small business owner, I yearn to, to, to achieve. So if you found these ideas and you want to more, know more about the tips and what the, uh, the deep detail that we're going to be diving in, make sure you hit like on my podcast. Make sure you subscribe to my channels, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We are everywhere because that's the nature of all in one our program that we are everywhere and we like to be in everywhere so don't forget to subscribe to our channels I'm using my my wipe this is what I clean my lenses with my thinking blanket the links in the link is in our bio and sharing we will be sharing valuable information please all business owners like and subscribe we got a lot of good information coming so thanks again for joining us today to this live stream we'll see you next time and how i do it i leave in music join us next time we'll continue diving into the seven things nobody will tell you about being a business owner